Zug Zug, Caveman Smash Dark Souls, part three. All right, so now our goal is to get back to the bonfire. Go show you to spend some souls. And, uh... Hmm. Don't get by that thing, huh? He didn't see me. Yeah, they're running away too. Oh, look at that slimy thing. Jesus. I'm not even sure the hell that's supposed to be. Slime snake, slime dragon. Oh, and look at a little item that I missed completely. And they'll get us more souls. Yay! More souls, more leveling. What a beautiful day. Get away from me. Is that guy still following me? I don't think so. All right, now whoop to the uh, Firelink Shrine. Now we will learn to allot our Estus flasks so you get more heals or more magic heals if you want more magic. More mana. Magic points, actually, it's not mana. Well, same thing. A newcomer. I am Andre. I serve. Andre, you look more like a Griswold. Let me speak. I am a. There we go. We can reinforce our club. Let's see. We could even infuse our club with the fire. Let's see, raw. Raw sounds like what a caveman would use, just a raw club. And then, you notice we had that. Ah, oh, crap. We had that blue uh, Estus flask. So you can either use that to heal magic and get more of those, or just uh, get all more health. Like, my guy doesn't use magic, obviously. Caveman no no magic. Caveman smash! <laughs> oh, what does she want? She give us some of these. Alright, let's see. Use these thingies. Luckily in this one you can use a bunch of them at once. Get all of those souls out. We even use the teeny ones. It only gave me 50. Damn. That ain't cool. And now uh, let's see. We want to get this white soapstone. Because that is how you will be able to be summoned into other people's worlds. And maybe a homeward bone. Because that's how you can warp back to a bonfire from the middle of the map. So if you're you're surrounded by enemies and you have a lot of souls and you just want to get out of there, you can use this. And I put to the quick menu so I can always open that and use it from there. Let's see, I'm pretty sure 742 is not enough to level up. But let's find out. Oh, it's just enough to level up. So like I said, uh, then don't, don't just do health all the way, but that's how this guy's doing it. And now back to the tower on the wall. <laughs> Braille Divine Tomb of Karim. So there's little tombs for the blind people who are playing this game and watching this video. Yeah, that, that's my step. Uh, let's see. Come on, there we go. Anyone want to help us? Anyone want to help us? I heard a sign. I know that noise. Oh, it's right there. Oh, no, that's not. I guarantee you're not going to be there to help now. 
But I had to put it right there to be a pain in the butt. Unable to summon. That's fine. We'll summon someone if we get down here and there's someone available. Oh, I did hear someone. Let's try it again. That little <sighs> noisy here. That's someone putting their sign down. Those guys sound kind of rabid, don't they? Ooh. I hope I'm... Oh, yeah, I ran up there for nothing. Oh, get the fuck out of here, you son of a bitch. Here we go. We're gonna have a friend come up. And there's no shame in summoning friends. Jolly cooperation is indeed wanted in this game. Now mind you, it will make bosses have more health, I believe. But, you get two people to distract them, so it makes it a little easier. See, this guy looks pretty cool. What a classy guy. Alright. What is he doing? This guy tried to get me good. Boom! Pushed his shit in. Something. Jesus. I butchered that. There we go. And that's the advantage of having two people flanking big fucks like that. And even healed me. What a guy. Oh, and I got that winged Albert. <laughs> winged. Oh, you son of a. For all the times I ran through, you think I'd remember that guy was a thing. Alright, there's a, that's an NPC summon, right, y'all? Look at those twiggle sticks. Oh, kill a kill. This guy's gonna be great. Oh, sorry about that. Kinda knocked my head off of my own head. Then you can just patiently wait, taking a seat next to the pile of dead carcasses. There you go. See all the formalities. What a gentleman and gentlewoman's game. Let us go. Face the big icy bitch. Finish him! Oh. 
so easy, a caveman could do it. A little help from your friends, easy as a fable. Thank you, my homies. Oh, he drank all the shit. Here's to the homies who ain't here no more. I'll miss you guys. It's been real good. Ah, but before we wrap up, I should show you how to uh, continue on with the game. Let's to make a whole video to go to the same area. Now I just wasted all my heals like a dumbass, so uh, that's a bit of an issue. Watch out for those angry knights. You're gonna need to go past them into here. I do not believe they can follow me in here, luckily. Ah, I am She'll say some stuff, you can listen to that, I'm not going to. She gave me the item I needed to continue on with the game. Game and smash, game and run, game and do things just for fun. Bye! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Jumping downstairs, running to wave of knives, not having a fair off. Alright, so after you've defeated this boss, whether you did it solo, did it with some friends like I did, or it didn't ne never showed up in the game, which that doesn't happen, I just felt like I had to say a third thing. You come over here, and you jump off the edge. Okay, you don't really jump off the edge. You uh, raise your banner that you just got from that old lady. There we go. And the rest, as you see. <laughs>